Okay, so um, Sarah Mann says, I'd love to hear more about what goes into building a successful community. This is something <clears throat> I've wanted to do for a while, and I'm not sure how or where to start or what factors I need to consider. So Sarah's an executive coach for women. If I go to your blog right now, can you, because everybody see that? Yep. Okay. So first I want to ask you, uh, okay, first, let me back up. There is a course that you have access to in in VIP, which is called Facebook Group Special Sauce. But I know that you are off Facebook. So I don't think a Facebook group is what you're interested in. Correct. Right. Okay. So my next question is, do you have any interest at all in podcasting? Uh, On being a guest? Yes. On running a podcast? Probably not. At least not in the immediate future. How's that? So what initial ideas have you had about building a community? I have a lot of women in my network. I just, I like to bring people together. I'm good at bringing people together. And over the last six, eight years, I've had a lot of different ideas, but none of them fully formed about, oh, I could do an executive round table. I could do uh, women, executive women in HR. I could blah, 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 pick your, pick your audience. And um and bring folks together. So, but I don't, it's not a fully formed idea. And I, I think I get, and maybe this is partly where I'm stuck because I'm not sure what I'm bringing people together for other than community. And that's not necessarily a selling point in and of itself. It really is though. I mean, but let's back up. So are we talking about a free community or a paid community? Well, ultimately I'd like to do a paid community. I do think that there's potentially value in doing a free community for some interim period of time and let people see the value in it and then um, and then move to paid and, and be upfront about that from the beginning too, that, hey, it's free for X amount of time. And But I think, yeah. again, it goes back to value. So what are people paying for? Well, they're paying for your expertise and getting, you know, so everybody is trapped inside themselves. So we're only yeah. ourselves. <laughs> You know what I mean? And so yeah. the beauty of of a community paid or free is that we get to connect with other people. And if it's a business, if it's a business type group, then we're going to get feedback. Sometimes that is, I remember when I was doing my first course, I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't know if it was a good idea or a bad idea. I didn't know if the title was good or it was bad. I mean, just, I, I was dying for a community that or, or an expert who could just, just say, yes, this is good. No, it isn't. Or go left instead of right. And so I think there's, I think that there's a ton of value in having your oversight and feedback on whatever. I mean, you could have structured content as well. Um, And then the community, the community is, is valuable because community is, is valuable because that's what people are looking for because they're alone and they're trapped inside themselves. And so I love the idea of you coming up with a an idea for a group that is something that excites you. And then, you know, do that and come back with it. And we'll, we'll help you, we'll help you um, brainstorm that. But thinking of just something, not, not super intense, not a huge curriculum, just, just a loose framework of what you might talk about. And then you could say, yeah, this is a pilot group. You know, I will be charging for this later and um, and you and take only applications. Don't mm. maybe not, you know what I mean? Only take applications. And then uh, because with a group, especially if it's not going to be like just a big open community, like whatever, uh, group dynamics are really important and you want to make sure everybody's bringing something to the table. But yeah, thinking yeah. initially about, invitation only. So not even application, but just going out to my existing network. Love that. Yeah. But particularly if you think about the current environment that we're in, where so many people, women in particular in organizations are just tapped out and burnt out. So creating a space for people to come together, like what Nika put in the um, chat there around support and just in time coaching or whatever it might be, because it's lonely at the top, so to speak. And I just lost my train of thought. So I guess I'm also thinking about content versus facilitated discussion versus, you know, what, what's the lift? I think whatever you decide, especially since this is a pilot group, you could sort of try it all on and, and see, and then, and this pilot group will help you, will help you turn it into what it needs to be because they're going to tell you what it is that they're, they're looking for. Yeah. But it really fun to conjure up like, 
okay. So these are, are these like top level executive women within corporations? I mean, when I think it, when the folks that come to mind, uh, we'll say are VP level and above. And they all struggle with what? Like imposter oh syndrome? Well, so, so yeah, confidence, imposter syndrome, burnout. Um, those okay, are probably so there, the burnout. There's a whole yeah. group you could do just on burnout. Like yeah. burnout could be a year long program. Do you know what I mean? So you, this could be, your something about burnout. I think just if if you just made it about burnout. So if it's just about burnout, I guess the question is, what's the what's the is the onus on me to provide content? Um, I think maybe just to provide a prompt, right? Like I think it could be a prompt, and then within the prompt, you can do breakout groups. And oh, well, is this going to be live or on Zoom? Zoom. Okay, wonderful. A prompt, a question, and then you go out. And then every time they break out, and that's why you're going to have to have a certain number of people for this group, and you're going to hand select, you're going to inv invitation only, and then the prompt, and then they go into the breakout rooms. And so they're, they're doing all the work. You're just going to come up with the prompts. And you, if you, if this was a six week program, then you would need, let's say 24 prompts, because you'd have four prompts for every Zoom session. And you could start with the around the room icebreaker question, you know, this gets people talking and getting to know each other. I mean, something as simple as that, I think would just be something people would really look forward to every week, you know, but so I guess that's one of my questions too, is it's rhetorical. Um, because if I just think about some of my clients who are very, you know, very senior roles in organizations, sometimes they have difficulty just getting to the coaching call. So do they have capacity to add some type of community call and I, you know I can do research good, on that I guess that's the yeah. answer I don't know but I wasn't thinking about a so separately I'm thinking about a mastermind but I wasn't thinking about a program like it's six weeks or it's this I my my thought was to create a broader community um, similar to what you've done in terms of bringing people from all over where you know we come together and we congregate well you're on LinkedIn you're a lot a I mean would a LinkedIn mm -hmm. group feel um, good to you? I, I don't even know about LinkedIn groups anymore, but you're I don't either. you're busy on LinkedIn. Yeah, it's a good question. I don't. I haven't. I have not explored groups on LinkedIn either. And then there's wonderful software now, like which isn't doesn't work if you're trying to replace a Facebook group, in my opinion. But like um, Circle and Mighty Networks and those groups, they're mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful for groups. Um, but if you're not trying to create a 30,000 member community and like, you know, I say it doesn't replace Facebook groups because what people have typically found is that people will go to a Facebook group because they're already on Facebook and it's just super easy and there's no barriers of login. And even if you have singles user sign in, it, there just seems to be a little a smidge more friction and people just don't find their way to the groups as quickly as they do on Facebook. But yep. you could still, you could still do one of you could still do that successfully as long as you weren't trying to like re replace what a Facebook group does in the context of what you're doing. That's that isn't that wouldn't be what you're doing. No, I, I love podcasts for everybody just about. But when I looked at you, the reason I brought up your blog post was because every single one of those blog blog posts would make for such a good podcast episode um, that you oh, okay. for all the pod, for all the blogs that you have every single one of them, I thought, wow, you could, you could just press record and not read this, not let that be your script. That would just be the beginning of going deeper and exploring those topics and bringing past clients on to discuss certain things. And, you know, it's such a, it, I mean, a podcast is really such a great asset in so many ways beyond just getting people listening to your content, but um, it's like, gives you leverage with certain clients because, you know, you could showcase them or, they think that you're a movie star and they're so lucky to work with you because you have a podcast. I mean, maybe not so much these days because everybody has a podcast, but it, it gives you an opportunity to have access to people you might not normally have access to because you can bring them on as a guest to interview them. Then maybe they become clients, maybe they don't, but still cool. You get to interview an author of a, a great business book that you read um, and weave that into what is already a really um robust network that you that you're really good at creating and connecting people it's just one more thing so something to think oh, about okay. 
So maybe on the next community call or an upcoming community call, I'll pose a question about starting a post, starting a podcast. Okay. That so, so. sounds good. I also, I just thank think you. you would think it's a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully Thanks. that was helpful. Keep us posted on your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And like, if you come up with ideas, bring four ideas to the table and we'll all weigh in on it. Okay, great. Thank you.